Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in another Car ID 5 minute video. My name is Greg and today we're going to be replacing this old tired side view mirror with a brand new side view mirror from Replace on a 2008 Chrysler 300. Uh, our first steps for this particular vehicle is we need to locate all the retaining screws for the door panel to be able to remove it. Uh, some of them are hidden by small covers, uh, one up here by the door handle, another here by the grab handle on the door panel as well. And there's some other various screws also located on the door panel. Once we remove those, we'll be able to remove the door panel off the door and access the bolts for behind the side mirror. Some of these vehicles, you may notice a plastic push pin clip. These clips are pretty easy to remove. The center you simply want to push in. Once that's performed, you can take a flathead screwdriver and simply pry it away from the door panel. Once you have the door panel removed, you can remove the actual latch for the door mechanism and also any electrical connectors for your switches. Door panel removed. Next step, we're going to remove the last piece of trim that's covering the bolt holes that actually bolt the mirror onto the door. Once we remove this trim, we'll have access to remove the mirror. Now you can either fully remove the trim, or in this case, we're simply going to let it hang out of the way and then reinstall it once we've replaced our mirror. With a 5 16 socket and a quarter inch ratchet, we can remove the retaining nuts that are holding the mirror onto the door. You want to make sure to remove your electrical connection to the mirror before you actually remove the mirror from the door itself. Once you have all three retaining nuts removed, you can then remove the damaged broken mirror. With a new mirror, simply repeat the same process. Line up all three studs with the holes built into the door, and then you can reinstall the retaining nuts. Once you have everything in place, you can reinstall the nuts and your electrical connection. Before reinstalling the door panel, you want to ensure that the new mirror that you installed actually functions. From here, we do see that it functions, so we can reinstall the panel. Once you have your new mirror installed, you can reinstall all the trim as well as your door panel in the exact same, the reverse order that you removed it. Don't forget to plug in all the electrical connections as you're putting the door panel back on, as well as the lever for the door handle. Once all the door panels and the interior are reinstalled, our mirror is bolted to the door, we can finish up our project by just snapping on our mirror cover, which is painted to match the vehicle. And that's it. 